Hello, and welcome back. Finally, we've moved the episode number on. It took, the last episode took the best part of five attempts, because I kept missing bits in the middle. And I finally uploaded it yesterday, thanks to all those that pointed out that there was gaps and bits wrong with it. I'm redoing this one today, I've just done it, and the sound's awful, or the sound was awful, and the picture was too dark. So I'm redoing this one. I've got my little tabs over there, as you can see. Um, what's happened? Well, Echo has been around a couple of times, thank you very much, Echo, to help clean my flat. Unfortunately, due to my funny ways, probably due to mostly my autism, it wasn't how I like things done, and things have to be done a certain way, otherwise I get very stressed. So I've had to let Eka go and work something else out. I've had a sore eye for five days, and it's clearing up today, so... I've had this before. I get something in my eye and it just goes sore for five days and then clears up suddenly. So I didn't really panic about it. Everyone said, oh, you should go get doctors and do this and do that. Now, if it lasts more than five days, I'll go and see a doctor. I'll get the doctor to come to me. I've also had to put in complaints about child safeguarding again. And complaints about my caretaker, because now I have evidence he's not doing his job properly. He should be, according to his terms and conditions reporting any infringements of tenancies. Well, he's not doing that, because I've got three letters from housing saying tenancies are being infringed in my block, and not one report from the caretaker. Unless they want to fall between copies, because they, the FOI team said it was redacted. Well, I didn't see any reports that were redacted, so I don't know what the redacted part is. Anyway, so, that's the caretaker. I've complained about my caretaker before, but they wouldn't investigate it. Now I've got evidence he's not doing his job properly. They have to investigate it. It was all hush-hush within housing. But now housing have actually supported my claim, because they've sent me three letters saying there are breaches of tenancy, but the housing officer has noticed. And yet no report from the caretaker. Well, I expect the caretaker to report every tenancy breach. And that supports a claim for getting people out of the block that are not obeying the rules. Once they don't obey the rules, they don't obey the rules everywhere. So once they breach tenancies, they break the law, they're rude, they're aggressive, they make stories up. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? You long-suffering viewers of mine. So yes, if the caretaker was doing his job, I would have freedom to leave this place because the caretaker will put a report in. Housing can use that as evidence because it's a caretaker. They're supposed to rely on the evidence from the caretaker. And then, you know, they don't need to do very much. Oh, we've got three days worth of reports saying you are leaving stuff in the stairwells, for instance. We are now going to chase for um, eviction. And you watch how many people won't get evicted because they will suddenly move stuff off the stairwell. They're doing it because no one's doing anything. They're not doing it because they think it's right. They're doing it because they know it's wrong, but no one's going to do anything. That's the difference. And I've said this to the council for two years. You've got to make an example out of people. This is why I've said certain people need to be expunged from the estate to make an example of. So the rest of the estate will then learn that the council are taking action. But we shall see. If the council are truly racist, like I keep saying, nothing will get done. If they're not, and suddenly the caretaker puts report in after report of people breaking their tenancies and people getting threatened with eviction, then I will take it back. But people need to be evicted. One of my neighbours was on his final morning two and a half years ago. And he hasn't done anything to improve. So why hasn't he been evicted? 
No one would tell me. I've asked my counsellor to find out, and she won't do anything. She won't even talk to me. But there we are. Um, Sorai, Eka's gone. What else has happened? Not a lot. I'm started catching up with the laundry. I've got the final bit of bedding going in today. And I need to clear out the bathroom and tidy that up. And then do the bedroom. The drawers in the bedroom are just a dumping ground. I need to empty them out, sort it, and then use the drawers for clothing. Not just bits and pieces. Um, what else is happening? I don't know. Not a lot. I've got Amazon delivery coming today because I'm running out of cat food again now. Why am I running out of cat food all the time? I think what I'm supposed to have done is, when I do an Iceland order, put a box of food in with the Iceland order, but I've not been doing that. To mix and match it, so I've got another Purina box coming. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. You boys, where's my boys gone? Caspi's down here, Tabs is in the loo, and Merlin's on the wardrobe asleep. They all slept with me last night. I had Caspi and Tabs on the bed, and Merlin was on the ottoman, or the wardrobe. He changes Merlin when he wakes up and goes somewhere else. They all switch round during the night. I'm surprised I'm not awake more often, to tell you the truth. Um, I've come off the live streaming for a week. I might have a look at people again in a moment, because I was getting too addicted to it, and I wasn't doing anything. But it does help when you've only got a few people you talk to. So I'll try and um, go back on that in a moment. Maybe before I do the bathroom. I need to get the steamer on and things like that. So I'll do that. Um, hopefully the sound on this is better than it was on the first effort I've done. I'm just having a look down at the sound levels and they seem fine. So we'll see how this goes. But thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. If you're not already, please subscribe. It does help the channel. It helps me mentally as well. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are watching my videos that aren't subscribing. Just click subscribe. It's free. And it helps me learn more about you and what content I need to provide. Because the more people subscribe and the more people that watch, I get better analytics, so I know what areas to focus on. But thank you anyway, and I shall speak to you again shortly.